everyone, it's Kay from Worcester Arts Workshop here, here with another interesting and exciting project which I hope you'll enjoy. This one's about mobiles. Here are some pictures of mobiles made by artists. The first one we saw was by Calder. This one is by Jenny Rope. This lovely wire sculpture is by Diane Komata. The next two we'll see are by Calder again. He made kinetic mobiles, ones that move in the breeze. And we're going to have a go at making one of these. Hello, let's make a start on our mobile. To make this mobile, you're going to need this equipment that you can see in front of me. So, we've got some pipe cleaners, or we can have some florist's wire, or any other type of wire. I think garden wire would be okay. You will need some scissors. You will need a pencil or a paintbrush. This will become relevant in a minute. I'll show you how, what we're going to do with those. You'll need some cards, different coloured cards. You could use pattern cards and pattern papers as well. We are going to do some round things, so something round to draw around. Some lovely things to decorate your mobile with. So I've got some flowers. And I've also got here some stickers that you can stick on. You will need tape, some wire cutters, that's for cutting the wire, something to hang things with, so just some threads or ribbons, some glue, a pen, and this piece of black paper here is just for when I'm using the wire so that you can see clearly how I'm, how I'm using it and how I'm bending it. So I'm going to start, I think, by showing you the wire version and I am going to follow it up with showing you the pipe cleaner version. So the pipe cleaner is probably going to be much easier to use and probably suitable for people who aren't so good with their hands or maybe are younger. But the wire version is perfectly okay for anybody who's reasonably dexterous and is happy to bend some wire. Just do be a bit careful. But this is floristry wire and it shouldn't hurt you and it's quite easy to bend and manipulate. I'm just going to start by cutting it up. So you want different lengths of wire. I'm going to start by just making these two different lengths. So I'm going to make one slightly smaller than the other. It doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm just going to press down, put the wire between the wire clippers and press down. You can see they're different sizes. I'm going to take another piece of wire and I'm going to clip that in half too. Okay, just like that. So I'm going to plan out my mobile a bit. You've seen the picture at the beginning. So there is a nice round bit dangling off the bottom. And then all of them you need to bend in the middle like this. Okay, so the very bottom piece just looks like that, a bit like a semicircle piece. The next piece up we need to bend round, but you also need to have a little loop in it. So this is where you use the end of your paintbrush just to turn. So push that piece of wire around the end of your paintbrush and you'll get a little loop there. So the next piece will have a little loop on it. And this is the same for the other two pieces as well. So just simply push, I'm using my thumb, pushing that. And if, it's, if you are worried, just bend it round. Hold it on, bend it round. If you are worried about this, just get somebody to help you. And then you just loop it round in a nice semicircle again. Push it with your fingers. Like I said this is floristry wire, so it's quite easy to use. Okay, and I'm going to do the same with this one again. So just going to push that in round there. And I'm now moving this that way as well, just to bend it. I'm try flattening it out a bit. And again, I'm going to make it a semicircle. I think what I'm going to do actually is put these two slightly smaller ones further down the mobile. I'm just going to turn it around so it's facing me. So I've got this one at the bottom, this one next. That's going to be my top one. This, this, they're about the same size. This is slightly smaller, so I can put that stuff. So how these are going to hang is I'm just going to now, very in the middle of there, just pinch a bit, pull those out again. Okay, what will happen now you'll see is that. I'm going to slot that through there and that'll hang on there like that now. 
Okay, this just makes it clearer when it's hanging where the loop should be attaching to. So same with this one, just going to fold it up a little bit there, bend it back out again. It's just got a little fold in it. And then again, just thread that through there. And that just makes it clearer for the wire, for the balance, just to know where that loop is supposed to be hanging. So fold it up a bit, stretch it out again. And the final one threads through. And then the very last one, same again. Just have a little nip at the top there, just fold it really in the middle. I'm going to have to lie this down gently. Okay, so that's the basics. So off these little points without the circular bits, we're going to hang some nice shapes. So we're going to stick some nice shapes onto our mobile. And this is what you need your coloured card for. So grab your coloured card and have a look at it. What are you going to do? So I'm going to use some orange card to begin with. And I'm just going to cut a section off. So you need your scissors for this. Cut a section off. You're going to fold that over because you want two identical pieces of card. So you fold it over and then you're going to draw a shape on there. I'm going to have a go at drawing a nice round shape to begin with. Just around this cup, cup top, this top of this. Sometimes I use cups, that's why I was getting mixed up then. Lid, nice round shape, there we go. And I'm also going to have a nice wiggly curvy shape, like some of the mobiles that you've seen in the pictures that I showed you called Project. So a nice wiggly shape. So I've got two shapes to cut out from this piece of card. How many shapes do I need? I need one, two, three, four, I need five shapes. So these first two. Cut round there. Put them to one side. Put them to one side. I've got two different lots of shapes here. To stick these on, I'm just going to simply put one there and get my tape. So one gun that goes underneath, get my tape. Got a bit of my tape off. And just stick that in there nice and firmly. Then I get my prick stick and I can reorganise these in a minute. So I've got some, put plenty of glue on and I get the other shape and I stick it over the top. And then you can't see a piece of wire inside. Okay, I'm going to repeat this process for the other one. I'm going to put this one slightly higher up my mobile. So I'm going to put it off here. So any of these ends that don't have a little circle that you've made a little loop on can have one of your shapes on and these shapes can be any curvy shape that you've drawn out on card don't forget to fold your card first I'm just going to stick that shape on top of there so it's a bit of tape a bit of glue and then they should match up work them out so they match up I think I fancy a different colour as well, so I'm going to go for some purple card as well now. Just to show you again. I'm going to cut this, don't need all of that. And I'm going to fold it. So then I've got, when I cut out, I'm going to have two, I'm going to make two at the same time. Um, I think I'm going to draw another wiggly shape. I might draw a slightly flowery shape here. Flowery shape actually. Yeah, I quite like these shapes. These remind me of 
flowers too. I quite like those shapes. So another two shapes. I'm going to cut these two out. And remember what we're doing. We're going to take them down and then glue the other one to it. So just put that to one side there. quite following my lines there. These can be just cut out and made up as you go along. It's quite easy to do because you folded your card. They are going to be the same shape and that's all you really need them to be is the same shape. I'll find the end of my sellotape again. I'll stick that one into there. Get some glue on. Plenty of glue on when you're doing this, you want this to stick. It really is very effective. I'm just trying to match up the shapes so they're the same way around. I think I'll put the other purple one up and copy it at the bottom here. Might have it at a slightly different angle actually. And after that, I've just got, I've got one more to do after that. So I'll just glue this, just stick this first, stick it down with tape, and a bit of glue. Just a bit of glue on there. Stick that together, stick it on top. There we go. So I've just got one more shape to do, and I have got one ready cut out here. So I'm just going to use one of my shapes ready cut out here. This is more of a patterned paper, patterned homemade sort of paper. Um, so you can with these decorate them with different things to stick on. So I have got some stickers and things here that I can stick onto these to decorate them. Bit of glue, get useless now, stick it down with a bit of tape, add a bit of glue. Stick that together, do some shiny stickers, punch. And don't forget that mobiles are two-sided. So you can stick things on more than one side. So you can turn it over, stick things on the other side. Okay. Yeah. And just stick it on here. One of my stickers has fallen off. There we go. Okay. So that's come up quite nicely actually, but I need to lie it back down again. So that I can put a final hanging thread up here. So just from the ribbon or the string or whatever you've managed to find to hang with, just thread it through. So this goes through the very top one now. And there's a little pointy section there that we made at the beginning. And just tie that up. Hang thread. And then you should be able to hang it. I'm not quite sure what this is going to look like on, on there, but I'm hoping you can see how it moves. If you get in a bit of a breeze, it'll move quite nicely. So you remember me mentioning Calder making kinetic sculptures. So kinetic is about movement and how these move together. This is what I really like about this mobile project. So that's, that's with the wire. It's very similar with the pipe cleaners. So I'll put my wire one over there for a minute. But pipe cleaners are much easier to bend. So you will need different lengths of pipe cleaner. So again, just cut them into different lengths. And the longer ones should be, put the longer ones towards the top. I won't make quite such a big one for this. And again, just for the very bottom one, just put a little point in so that it knows where it's got to hang. The next one up, you're going to use your paintbrush again just to twist that loop make that loop there that makes it quite easy to do that then goes up on the loop and then you bend this round and make a little point again and it's the same with this one so use your paintbrush end 
and the end. Made a little loop. That will go on there. Just slides there. And then bend this round. It's a sort of, oh, it's a rainbow shape, isn't it? Or a semicircle shape. I like the idea of rainbow shape rather than semicircle shape. So, all we need to do then is hang on our different decorations. I am going to make a little bend up in there too when I hang it. Okay. And this will balance out once I start hanging things on. So I've got some ready-made things here, just for quickness. So this one I've stuck different things on different sides. So again with the tape. shape to come down next. There's another green shape. Hang again with the glue. So I am rushing this a little bit. Please do spend a bit more time on that. I've got a round shape here. Again with the tape. Again with another glue. Hopefully you're getting the idea of this now. And then finally I'm going to put a green one at the top here. It's looking alright, isn't it? And we're gonna tie put a piece of String again at the top here, or oh, piece of ribbon. I've actually I've got my wow on that blue piece there to use. And again, you can decorate with your stickers and various things that you've got. Just tie this off. And it away. So you've got your two different mobiles there. Simpler version with your pipe cleaners. And not much more difficult version but with your wire. Okay. everyone hope you enjoy hanging your mobiles up bye bye until next time